Kerry has determined that ISIS is indeed committing genocide against Christians and other minorities in Iraq and Syria. CBN's White House correspondent Jennifer Wishon has that story. Pushing it right up to the deadline set by Congress, Secretary of State John Kerry said the words Christians and others waited to hear. In my judgment, Daesh is responsible for genocide against groups in areas under its control, including Yazidis, Christians, and Shia Muslims. It's a critical first step towards protecting Christians from ISIS and other Islamic radicals in Iraq and Syria. Every jihadist in the Middle East believes they can kill, kidnap, enslave, and otherwise torture Christians and other religious minorities, and they believe they can do it without repercussions. In northern Iraq, Assyrian Christians are an ancient people descended from the first followers of Christ. We are, as Assyrians of the Middle East, are we are on the verge of extinction. Juliana Tamarazi recently visited the town of Telescoff in the Nivea plains of Iraq, where 200,000 Christians have fled from ISIS. The homes are destroyed. Uh, they're ran inside. When you walk inside, uh, their closets are all broken, the beds are all overturned. The kitchens are destroyed. Secretary Kerry's genocide designation helps keep the plight of these Christians near the front of U.S. foreign policy. Advocates wasted no time celebrating. They're already working with the State Department to make sure Christians are represented in Syrian peace talks and that the property rights of Iraqi Christians forced to flee their homes are enforced. There are going to be borders redrawn, constitutions redrafted. It's absolutely essential that the Christians have a voice in this process or they will have no place in the new Syria and in the new Iraq. There's already an effort to create a safe haven in the Nineveh Plains so that Christians, Yazidis and other minorities can return home, govern themselves and rebuild their lives without fear of extermination. If you care about the presence of Christianity, the Christian witness in this very gospel poor part of the world, you will support the idea of a safe haven. In spite of the horrors they've experienced at the hands of ISIS, Christians in this part of the world are experiencing a revival of their faith. They have told me repeatedly it is because of persecution that has been inflicted on them that they have been that they have grown closer to Christ, that they find themselves praying more, that they they're thirsty for the gospel more. Now the same advocates who pushed for the genocide designation are moving to keep up the pressure to ensure the Obama administration not only talks but acts to protect those persecuted Christians and other religious minorities. They hope to make real progress before the next administration moves into the White House. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington.